Kwasi here. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can basically speak your reality into existence. And whatever reality you want, you can just use the right words and bring it into fruition. Before beginning this video, I want to share with you the concept of incoming and outgoing thoughts. Even though we briefly discussed it in the last video, if you haven't seen it, click up here. And basically, an incoming and an outgoing thought are basically the two types of thoughts there are. So incoming thoughts are the thoughts that you're getting from your external stimulus. It's just data in, data in, data in. Outgoing thoughts are the thoughts that you're sending out. And when you're speaking words, it's basically outgoing thoughts that you're sending out into the universe. As conscious creators of our realities and as human beings who possess the most powerful thing of all, which is conscious awareness and being able to be observant of our own existence, conscious of our own existence, we can send outgoing thoughts that no other species can. And this is a very, very powerful way of influencing your reality. So outgoing thoughts are the thoughts that you may either consciously or unconsciously send out. And ideally we want to get to a point where we consciously send out whatever thoughts we want because we want to consciously create our reality, not unconsciously. And I realize that I've never talked about this before, but it's a very, very important concept about words that we're speaking, things that we're saying every single day to other people, to ourselves. And basically, it's important to always keep a lookout on what words you're speaking. Before beginning with that, let's understand why outgoing thoughts are so powerful in creating our realities. And most of you may know this, but this is the concept of thought propagation or propagating whatever feeling you have whatever th emotions you have, whatever it is your belief systems are, you're propagating it through the words that you're speaking or the thoughts that you have. And those are your outgoing thoughts. So, you know, you have an incoming thought, you don't like it, it still becomes a part of your belief system because you're attaching an emotion to it because this is how you program your reticular activating system. And if you don't know what that is, click up here for six steps on how you can reprogram yourself completely. It's a very, very powerful concept, so I encourage you to watch it. And now let's talk about when you're propagating thoughts, how to propagate the right kind of thoughts. Now, most of us are speaking unconsciously, you know, like I'll remember when I was a freshman in college and I was going into the dining hall and a guy asked me, well, how are you doing today? I was like, oh, I'm doing okay. I'm surviving, I'm surviving, just getting by. And, you know, I, I said that because I hear a lot of people saying that and I heard a lot of people saying that. Almost everyone says, like, whenever you ask them how they are, they're like, oh, I'm okay. Oh, I'm surviving. Uh, uh. It's like, it's just like, this is just something people say, but people don't really understand the magnitude or the power of things that they're saying. Because when you're saying something like that, your reality is manifesting that way. Then you're just becoming okay. And you're just becoming someone who's barely getting by because you're saying that you're propagating that idea into reality. So be very, very mindful of what you say. And this is so important that you know, you live consciously, you do every single thing consciously because consciousness is the most powerful thing that we all possess. And people really underestimate the power of consciousness, the power of conscious living. That's why I'm emphasizing this right now. Like most of our problems can be solved by just becoming a little bit more conscious every single day. So I urge you to become conscious in every single part of your life every single day. So with that, let's go back to the idea that we were just discussing. When you ask people how they're doing, they're like, ah, oh, I'm okay, I'm fine, the weather sucks, you know? And then people get into an arbitrary discussion about the weather, I'm like, ah, oh, the weather sucks today, huh? The weather's bad. And the occasional times people will be like, oh, the weather's really nice today, right? The weather's really nice. And then they'll have a nice day as a result. So they're propagating that nicety, that pleasantness, the appreciation, the gratitude, and that's why they have a nice day for the rest of the day because the weather is now nice. So whatever it is that you're speaking into reality is literally creating your reality. So if you say to someone, ah, I'm doing okay, you know, a lot of people say that. I started to notice that I was doing that myself. And ever since that, and starting to learn about the law of attraction, I was like, oh my God, I've been saying I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm just getting by, I'm barely surviving. Instead, I was like, well, from now on, I'm not gonna say that anymore. If any time someone asks me how I'm doing, I'm gonna say I'm doing fantastic. So now I always answer to, how are you doing? I'm fantastic, I'm amazing, I'm awesome. 
And once, you, once I started to do that, I started to feel better as a result because like, it just makes you feel better to say something that's just completely positive because now you're propagating that thought, that positive thought into reality. And now your reality is becoming that as a result. The emotion you attach to that thought is already, like most people attach really good emotions to amazing, awesome, fantastic, and we've been programmed to do so. So saying that thought, saying that word out loud really makes you feel fantastic and the rest of your day goes well. So now once I even start saying I'm fantastic, I just start seeing a smile on the other person's face where they're like, huh, really? Wow, that's cool. And then they start to feel better. So now everyone's feeling better and it's a win-win for everyone. And now you're becoming more and more powerful in the way you influence your own reality because you're choosing how you want to feel by the very words you're saying. So with that, I wanna to get to five phrases that people say every single day, which are very, very harmful, and six phrases that you can replace them with, or six phrases that you can start implementing now that'll really help you. So let's begin. So the first of the five phrases that you should never, ever, ever say is, I want. Because when you say I want, it means you do not already have. Whenever you're saying I want this, I want that, and you're telling other people like, oh, I want that, yes. It means that you're already lacking and you're in a lacking mindset and you're propagating that scarcity into reality. So avoid saying I want. The next is I need and that's a similar idea. It means you do not already have, so you need. You know, you need, I must get. And it's just like your attachment to that object of your desire is amplified because neediness is like the ultimate scarcity mindset. I hope is again wishfulness and also propagating that you don't already create your reality and that's not true but if you choose to believe that then your reality will be that so avoid saying i hope i wish is also another one people say and it's like oh i wish i had that and it's just well it's establishing to yourself first of all that you'll never get it and it'll never happen because now your wish wishful thinking is just like oh i wish i get that uh that would have been nice people do that a lot and then the last one is, I'm trying. People, you know, people are like, oh, how's this going? And they're like, oh, I'm trying. I'm trying means that you're not already being, you're not already doing. So I always try to say, it's going well. It's going really well. Even if it's not going quite how you want it to, I just try to say, it's going well. And now you're thinking, oh, you're lying to yourself. You're lying to everyone. You're lying. You're being a liar. You should not lie. And you know, that's not true. It's just propagating whatever it is that you wish to experience. Lying is only to yourself. Like the only person you're lying to is yourself. So if you want to experience a particular reality, it's like using the mirror principle. And if you don't know what that is, click up here. And the mirror principle is basically acting and being before you already get that thing. Because reality is like a dual mirror. And what that means is as the image, so the object. As the object, so the image. So whatever image you form first and you say, oh, I'm amazing even though you're not, be, if you're not amazing already, if you just say I'm amazing, chances are your reality is going to be amazing. And it's going to turn out that way. And that's why the law of attraction really works because we're just basically putting up mirrors and obeying one of the rules of reality, which is the dual mirror concept. And if you don't know what that is, again, click up here. So those are the five phrases that you should never utter. And what you can do instead, and what you can say instead, is basically these five phrases, which is first of all, I have, and I have already. And it's a very empowering thing to, thing to say, that I have. I will is also something that I really like to say because it means that, oh, you're in the process of doing it. Because if you can't fully believe that you already have it right now and you don't want to really lie to yourself, then you can always say, oh, don't worry, I will. There is no concern. It'll come when the time is right. And it's propagating that idea. I am. I am is also a very, very powerful way, but you know, it always depends on what follows I am. Like if you say I am boring or I am unattractive, then obviously you're gonna be propagating that into reality. I can is also very, very empowering and it also is a step up from all of these, the ones you should watch out for. The next is I love. I love is a very, very powerful statement. And once you do that, you'll even feel it in your whole body. Like I love doing this, I love money. And people, you know, they say money is evil and all of that. And I actually read that in a book called How to Be a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero. Great book. I recommend that you read it. But she says that 
you know, most people have been brought up to never talk about money, just like they never talk about sex. And it's just a taboo concept. You should never talk about money, you know? And that becomes a limiting belief for most people, and then people start to believe that money is evil. And that's what Jen Sincero believed from a very young age, that money was evil. So she had a very tough time having a flow of money into her life until she starts, started saying stuff like, I love money because it allows me to spend time with my friends and do fun things and go on fun adventures and get ice cream and stuff like that. So money isn't really evil, it's just what you do with it. And again, this is a very powerful statement because whatever follows that is independent because you don't really love the object of your desire, you just love. Lovingness comes from within you and that's a concept for another day. So. Regardless, love is a powerful, powerful way of propagating uh, gratitude and one of the most powerful energy fields available to you, the energy field of love. Finally, what I love to say is I allow myself to. Now I understand that this might not really fit your worldview or even your lingo, the way you speak. So I don't say this to other people, but I say this to myself. When I use my affirmations, I say, I allow myself to do this, I allow myself to do that because this is definitely a step up from I want, I need, I hope, I wish. So definitely avoid those and use stuff like I have, I will, I am, I can, I love, and I allow myself to. Especially when you're crafting your affirmations, if you use stuff like I allow myself to, I am, I enjoy, I love, then you'll see that you'll be a powerful creator of your reality because you've been propagating these ideas all along. And the key idea of an affirmation is just that Oh, if you say I'm making, I'm easily making $20,000 monthly or something like that, if that's your affirmation, let's say. And what I want you to do is really imagine yourself in a conversation with someone else and you're actually saying that you're making that much money. And this is a really powerful way to activate an affirmation. It's like, oh, let's say you're in an imagined conversation with someone else and then he's like, how much money are you making? I'm like, oh, I'm making $20,000 monthly. And then I just wanted to visualize that over and over and over again because this activates a very, very powerful reality simulation. And it's a very powerful way of visualizing, but we'll get that into another video. So anyway, I hope this video helped and I hope you now understand the phrases you should use and the phrases you should not use. Oh, the other way around. <laughs> and now I n hope you know the, un the importance of whatever thought it is you're propagating out into the universe in the form of words and again words are really important and the ultimate solution to all of these is becoming more and more conscious and that's why you know spiritual people and gurus speak so slowly because they're conscious of every single word that they're saying so anyway with that sincerely hope this video helped and if it did please leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know that it helps so i'll make more of this kind of stuff also i'm excited to announce that I'm growing a massive Facebook group. We have a thousand members. We recently just hit 1,000 members in the group and it's a great group. You know, people are very, very, very knowledgeable about their law of attraction practices and they're sharing great stuff too. So if you are interested, click on the link below to join. I know I would have been super interested to join when I first started off with the law of attraction because I had no idea what I was doing and basically I could up-level my own practices in the law of attraction, joining a group like this of collected like-minded individuals who are also doing this stuff. So click on the link below to join. Hope I see you there. Also, I'm sad to announce that the Reality Mastery program is closed for enrollment because we're at capacity. However, I'm still offering the free consult to one lucky winner. If you comment Reality Mastery below, and on every single video, I'll pick one lucky winner for a free consult and we will jump on and do this free consult where we will be diagnosing your current law of attraction practices and how you can access the most powerful paradigm of manifestation, which is identity shifting. Now, most people are focused on doing, 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 taking, 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 having, 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 but no one's focused on being. No one tells you how to be because once you be, the doing and the having come into place all on their own. So that's why I focus on the being paradigm, which is what the Reality Mastery Program is focused on, the most powerful paradigm of manifestation. If you're interested in the free consult, just comment Reality Mastery below and I will be picking one winner to basically have this free consult with. So yeah, hope this video helped. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Peace. Peace.